Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. I am Ferenc Kovácsegyi from Hungary. And uh, very sorry uh, for my English because I came from Eastern Europe and my accent is not so perfect like it was before the previous lecturer. Uh, we worked together with Eva Ristov in the last six months before the Olympics. And uh, my lecture will be uh, a little bit more emotional, like uh, scientific, because uh, of course we know his training background, but uh, uh, we know some details uh, from uh, her previous results, but uh, the last six months that we worked together with her, I think it was uh, uh, very important for her to win the 10 key race in London. Let me see. First of all, this is the outline of my presentation. The swimming career of Eva Ristov, after the introducing myself, from the beginning until the Athen 2004 games. And uh, her hard decision uh, to quit the swimming and the comeback in uh, 2009 as an open water swimmer. The training history after her comeback. The first 10 key appearance in the European Aquatic Championship in 2010 in Hungary, in Balaton. The weekly training schedule in 2011. From the first attempt to 10 key to her uh, disqualification in Shanghai 2011 World Championships. The preparation after Shanghai since September 2011. Joining uh, to the Seles Kovács Egyi Wirt coaching team of the Durta brothers. The most important changes in her training the last two months before London and the racing tactic of Tanky Marathon in London in 2012. As uh, the previous lecturer said, the Tanky Marathon is a very different race like uh, any pool swimming race and it needs a special preparation. Of course, uh, I tried to give you some details uh, from her, pre from her pre preparation. First of all, as I told you before, I am Ferenc Kovács uh, From 1977, my uh, coaching career began. I was the assistant coach of Mr. Uh, Tomáš Sechi. Maybe some of you know this, this name. Uh, he was in Hungary, the swimming pope. Uh, we call him Swimming Pope. He has very, very uh, good result in his time, and uh, his result is uh, overtaking. It's, I think, uh, actually, it's impossible, especially in Hungary. Uh, his swimmer uh, reached eight gold medals in the Olympic Games during his career, and. Uh, uh, me also begin uh, the swimming with uh, Mr. Tamas Sechi. Uh, afterward, I became a water polo player, but uh, the connection between me and Tamas Sechi was uh, uh, in my coaching career, it's a very, very important factor. When I finished university in 1977 and I became a physical education teacher and the swimming coach, I met with him in the swimming pool and asked me, what do you do? I said to him, I am a 
physical education teacher, I began to teach kids. And uh, also in Hungary, there were some other very small swim clubs and began to work uh, like a swimming coach because my specialization in the university was the swimming. He invited me to the national team. I was very proud and uh, as a part-time job, I began to work with uh, the national team like assistant coach of Mr. Sechi. Like uh, uh, I tried to uh, lead the dryland coach, of course, in the beginning, what he, he planned uh, for the team. Uh, but afterward, uh, I got more and more uh, uh, personal uh, goals and personal tasks. I was team coach uh, with the Hungarian Olympic swimming team, fourth time, first time in Moscow in 1980. Afterward, we didn't participate in Los Angeles Games, but Seoul, uh, 88, Barcelona, 92, and uh, actually in London, 2012. Not because of Evaristo, but uh, I'm the coach also uh, of the Jurta brothers. Maybe you know these, those names also. I was awarded the Master of Coaching degree in uh, 1991. It's the uh, highest uh, level of uh, coaching degree in Hungary. And after the Barcelona Olympics, I was invited uh, to Qatar to become the head coach of the Qatar national swimming team. Uh, when I came back uh, to Hungary, we founded with my colleague Sándor Széles uh, the UVSC, UV Swimming Club. Uh, and actually, this is the best Hungarian age group uh, swimming club. I'm also a lecturer in the Semmelweis University Faculty uh, of sport, uh, Physical Education, Sports Sciences and Water Sport Department. And I am also coach uh, permanently from uh, the age of nine of Daniel Jurta, his brother Gerge Jurta, and actually Evaristo. Of course, there are some other swimmers in my in our group, but uh, they. Still, they are young, and uh, some of them are just training partner of our uh, big group. Let me see uh, Evaristov's swimming career. Evaristov was born in Hodmezevashare. This is a uh, little country town uh, in the southern part of Hungary. And uh, maybe you know this name is uh, Christina Egerszegi. Uh, she was an outstanding backstroker in the late 80s in the till the Atlantic uh, uh, Atlanta Olympics in uh, 1996. And she finished uh, her career in 1996 with the five individual gold medal mostly in backstroke, 100 and 200 backstroke, uh, but uh, she won an uh, Olympic gold medal in uh, Barcelona Games in uh, 400 medley as well. When uh, Christine Egerszegi visited uh, Eva hometown in Hodmezevashar Hay, there, uh, there are some photos. <coughs> this little girl uh, was Eva Ristov and it was love for the first sight and uh, uh, her swimming career began in that time when Evaristo was uh, around the age of six and uh, she was uh, already a swimmer in the Hodmeze Bashare club. Uh, when Evaristo... Uh,